In this video, we're going to go over the Luo's Bob Mesh Material Function. It's a rather simple function. You just plug the Bob WPO or World Position Offset into the World Position Offset, and it already starts moving up and down. Quite nice. Now let's say I want to make it go a little bit faster. You just plug it in, and now it moves a little bit faster. But what if I want to have a bit more movement up and down, so more distance? Let's say 100 or 200 even. But it's going a little bit faster, but I can always reduce the bubble speed. And now it's a bit slower. There we go. Now, time is a nice function because let's say you want to do something over time with a variable, a dynamic parameter. A good example will be using a lure for now. So let's get the depot time sign and plug that into time. Another example will be, just in case, with a lerp. So now it moves from 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Okay. There's also a time add. So let's say we're using a dynamic parameter or whatever to change the time. But we also kind of need to add some time because there's multiple of these and you want to have some additional variation. Then you can just plug in a value like this. Now it's over time. But if I just want to move it up or down a little bit, I can use this value. And let's say I use 1, it's at the bottom. 0, it's at the top. And out of 5, it should be about halfway there. So that's a way to add some additional time to the time. But you don't really only need to have like scalar value. You can do more things with it. This is a good example. This is a deep book time sign and a linear gradient. It looks kind of weird in here, but the moment I plug that in to the time add, you'll get this result. It's quite funky. I'm going to remove these for now and remove the time set here. And now the bulb, the bulb mesh is applying that to a small gradient. Uh, example will be probably like this preview so the bulb mesh is trying to add everything from the bottom to the top where it's black it's going to be later uh, earlier than where it's totally white you get something like this now it's wobbling nice and slowly because there's a delay at the bottom and the top and like I showed you with the debug time sign, you can play around and make quite some cool things with this. Okay, there's one other thing I need to show you. I'm going to just remove all this for now. And get the bubble orientation. So at the moment it's only going up and down. But what if I want to make it go left to right? Now it does just that. You can also combine. Or even at all the functions, and so now it's going nice and bubbly. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that should be it for this material function. Hopefully, that's helpful. Take care.